We're going to do an analysis of a rather complicated trig function. Uh, y equals 4 sine of 3x minus pi over 2 minus 2. And we're going to determine the amplitude, the period, the horizontal shift, and the vertical shift. That's what we want to do here. So one thing that would be helpful, I think, is to put this in a slightly different form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go 4 sine square bracket. I'm going to factor 3 out of here. And when I factor 3 out, well, I can easily factor here and I'll be left with x. But what I really do when I factor a number out of uh, binomials, I divide this by the number 3 and I divide this by the number 3. And if I do that, I get x minus pi over 6. I hope that's pretty clear when you're looking at this. So, make that bracket better there in this one too. Okay. This allows us to look at this at, to, oh, minus 2, sorry. Don't want to leave that off. To, this changes the period, and this x plus or minus some little number, in this case, minus pi over 6, is just a translated x variable. And now from this we can determine everything. For instance, the amplitude is 4, and it's going to go 4 up and 4 down. The period is the old period, 2 pi, okay, divided by that 3. So the new period is 2 pi over 3. The horizontal shift, or what is often known as the phase shift, it's going to move pi over 6 units to the right, in the opposite direction of the sign. Pi over 6 units to the right. The whole sine function is just going to be moved over pi over 6 units. And my vertical shift, of course, is down 2. Just, I'll just say negative 2. It's going to be lower down to negative 2. And that's the analysis of this. This is about as difficult as they get. They might use different numbers, but this is a complete analysis of how you would sketch the graph of this. Now, on the next board, I've got the graph uh, graphed. I'll roll the uh, machine over a little bit here. We can take a look at the graph. Let's see if that's in a good view there. Yeah, that's a pretty good view of it right there. And you can see what's happened here. The whole graph has been lowered down to, and it goes up as high as positive 2 and as low as negative 6. In other words, it goes up 4 units and down, back down then down four units with the amplitude. Notice also I've drawn this, uh, what I call a faux y-axis. I call it y-hat to show that it's been moved over pi over six units here. And then I have a faux x-axis and I label that as x-hat. I've drawn exactly one period. The normal period is uh, two pi over three or uh, four pi over six and move it over it makes it five pi over six and I put a middle unit in. And you can see if you can graph that. This goes down, by the way, as low as negative 6. I didn't really draw it far enough. Then I should have gone down maybe a little farther. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Okay, there it is.